What up, YouTubers? I'm back with another video. I'm also here to talk about legendary rap hip hop pioneer too, as well. Um, LL Cool J, Mr. Smith himself, has released his fourth album, Mama Said Knock You Out, of September 14th, 14th, 1990. Happy 34th, 34th anniversary to this classic. Look at this album, man. 34 years ago, and this album is still a classic. Mama Said Knock You Out, and of course, Around the Way Girl, that's another banger right there. Eat him up, L Chill, Mr. Good Bar, Murder Graham, Live at Rap Mania, The Booming System, and uh, Farmers Boulevard, Our Anthem, Cheesy Rap Blues, Mama Said Knock You Out, of course, the title track, Milky Cereal, Jingling Baby, Remix But Still Jingling, To the Break of Dawn, Six Minutes of Pleasure, and uh, The Power of God. Illegal search, all classics. Excuse the cover, it's a little bent. <laughs> but the record plays great, though. I got it from a uh, White Rabbit Records. Uh, the owner decided to just let me have it for free. He was selling it for a buck, but he's like, eh, why not have it, man? Because, you know, he knows, like, I'm a great customer. Like, I've always, like, buying all his cool stuff there. All the vinyls, especially hip hop wise. Shoo, look at that. It's a little messy right there, but he told me the record does play. So I can't wait to test this. Man, this is an amazing record right here, man. This is an incredible phenomenon album. Phenomenal, man. Just phenomenal. Awesome. Fantastic. You name it, all the above and beyond. This is an amazing record by LL Cool J. I mean, if you love rap and hip hop, you know, you got to have this in your collection. You know, it's because it's really hard to get this album. I know they did reissues on this album, but sometimes it just gets sold right away, man. I mean, this is a popular record. And to tell the truth, too, as well, um, it's also produced by mostly Mar Marley Mar. Marley Mar. Marl. Marley Mar. Marley Mar. And recorded at his house uh, of hits. Home studio in Chestnut Ridge and at Chung King House of Metal in New York City. After the disappointing reception of LL's, you know, 89 album Walking with the Panther, Mama Said Knock You Out released by Def Jam Recordings of today and as a commercial and critic success. And to top that, the album also, um, <clears throat> excuse me, released really awesome singles. It was promoted with five singles, of course, The Bowman System, Around the Way Girl. The title track, um, Six Minutes of Pleasure, the album was certified double platinum in the United States, has, um, have shipped, uh, two million copies. According to Yahoo Music's, uh, Frank Meyer, Mama Said Knock You Out seemed to set the world on fire of the year 1990, 34 years ago, helped, you know, by its... It's a hit, the title track, Mama Said Knock You Out, and LL's sweaty performance on MTV Unplugged. The title song also reached number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was certified gold by the RIAA. And LL himself won the best rap solo performance at the Grammy Awards of 1991. That was 33 years ago. And the New York Times, you know, John per Perlow's, Pearl is, wrote that, you know, Mama Said Knock You Out, it reestablished, you know, LL's uh, as the most articulate of the homeboys sounding tougher and funnier, rapping about crass materialism and simple pleasures, and Mark Cooper's, uh, Mark Cooper's review for Q, he wrote that this 22-year-old veteran has lost neither his eye for everyday detail and nor his sheer relish for words. Select magazines. Richard Cook said LL stack of samples. Add the icing to a cake that is all dark, remorseless rhythm. A lo-fi drum beat shadowed by a crude bass rumble. It could be Jamaican dub. They're making here. If it weren't for LL's slipper lip, Mama Said Knock You Out was voted the ninth best record of 1990 in the Paz and Job. Man, this album will always be a classic, man. It always will be. <clears throat> especially that, you know, from the weekly charts. It went number 67 on the Australian albums. 
and UK albums, it went number 49. And then um, it went number 16 on the U.S. Billboard 200. And it went number two on U.S. Top R&B Hip Hop Albums Chart. And then the year end charts, it went number 91 on the U.S. Top R&B Hip Hop Albums Chart. And then it went number 13 on the U.S. Billboard 200. And then it also went number five on U.S. Top R&B Hip Hip Hop Albums. But regardless, this album is still a classic. Nobody could ever make a classic like this, like LL, man. He will always be a legend for this record, man. This is an incredible record. What is your favorite song off the album? The very legendary album by LL. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, follow your boy Nerdy Red 23 and I'll definitely get back to y'all in the next video. God bless and stay safe, y'all. And if you definitely come across this album right here, get it and bump it on your turntables. Peace, because that's what I'm going to do.